facing global condemnation for their militant blitz to power in Afghanistan after a bloody nationwide battle. The Taliban on Tuesday declared an amnesty across Afghanistan and urged women to join their government, seeking to convince a wary population that they have changed a day after deadly chaos gripped the main airport as desperate crowds tried to flee their road. As heart-wrenching visuals of desperate Afghans feeling the devastated country in a bid to escape the Taliban rule grab international headlines. Well, I got a situation update this morning. The uh, position at the airport is stabilising. There's been a surge of US and UK troops. We've got 600 extra personnel there. It's critically important, not just for the stability on the ground uh, for Afghans, but critically for our evacuation effort. Uh, we've made real progress. We had 150 British nationals come out uh, on Sunday. Uh, over the last week, we've also had 289 of those Afghan nationals who have served the UK so long in Afghanistan. And we expect over the next 24 hours to have 350 more of both British nationals and Afghan nationals who've worked for us uh, coming out. So the situation is stabilizing, but obviously we're monitoring it very carefully. European leaders should prevent mass migration of Afghans into the continent following the Taliban's return to power, President Emmanuel Macron of France said on Monday, reflecting a hardened European view on a volatile political issue. Europe alone cannot assume the consequences of the current... Good evening. There are images of fear and desperation. Afghan men, women, clutching their babies and small children, all running for their last chance to flee a life under the Taliban. The chaotic scenes played out at Kabul airport. US Air Force planes overrun by those seeking asylum. It paints a picture of the terror felt by those left behind. And a warning some people may find the images in this story distressing. Amelia Adams begins our coverage. A final frantic bid for freedom. Hundreds of Afghans chasing a US Air Force carrier, climbing, clinging to the undercarriage. Dozens perched on the landing gear doors. A desperate and for some deadly attempt. Three men fell to their deaths. Three more were run over by jets and two were shot dead by US troops trying to control the stampede. The airport controlled by the US military but surrounded by Taliban, became a beacon of hope for escape. Locals scaling the walls, moving targets for militants. <laughs> Afghans begging American forces, take us with you. <laughs> I have no job, this man says. We left our homes, we have no food. Amid the chaos, these were the lucky ones, 640 Afghan refugees storming a US military cargo plane intended for embassy personnel, crammed in and refusing to budge. Women, children, a toddler drinking a bottle, some looking terrified, others relieved. The crew agreed to fly them to safety in Qatar. Afghanistan collapsing as the world watched in dismay evoking comparisons to America's withdrawal from Vietnam. I stand squarely behind my decision. A defiant President Biden cut short his summer vacation to defend his handling of America's longest war. Our mission in Afghanistan was never supposed to have been nation building. 
America was never supposed to be creating a unified, centralized democracy. Our only vital national interest in